Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we have the Kia Sorento, but she's not going to four-wheel drive, so in this video, we're gonna fix the four-wheel drive. So the first step was to remove the four-wheel drive motor. There's four 10 mil bolts holding it on. Okay, so next step is to remove all the little screws. Let me pop this up. So you can see here, this is where you can calibrate it from. So by just twisting it, you know, it's a visual representation of where it is. Okay, so just pop this up. Okay. So here we have the big gear, and in here we have the triangle gear or triangle slot, which is connected to your four wheel drive. This is a motor, it seems like a wiper motor, so all it does is a spin. Um, it can spin in either direction. So that's obviously then it goes from two wheel drive to four wheel drive to low wheel drive, or then reverse of that. And this is a stopper, so you can kind of see down here it slowly goes so far in either direction and i think what actually happens is when you get the warning symbols up or the the four wheel drive just not working i think what actually happened is it's probably been turned off and turned on and it's in between one of the three states which is two wheel drive four wheel drive or low low range four wheel drive and i think the motor just gets confused it just doesn't know should it go this way or should it go back this way and probably what you can do is either do what i've just done here and undo it and then you can spin the motor a little bit or even find these two wires here which are the two heavy wires that run just the motor and actually just give them a little shot of 12 volt which will just bring the motor on a little bit or back a little bit and you have to remember you can't you can't leave it because leave it on 12 volt obviously because the stopper has to stop somewhere but um maybe that might fix it I don't know, I've never actually tried that, I've always just undone it here and then like trying to fiddle around and see what's wrong with it. But um, that's what I think you could do as well and it might make a, a bit of a difference. So what we're going to do now is just rejoin it to the car or to the Jeep and uh, check it out. Yes, I forgot to uh, pull off the cog just to show you. You don't need to do it but it's only a say like a half moon slot and obviously when this gear turns it's going to turn this. And when this turns, it turns probably a, a little disc inside here. And that's what the wires are able to work out. Um, and the wires then send the signal back to the controller to tell it. Uh, when you select, say, like from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive, it says, I'm currently in two-wheel drive. Keep sending power till I hit four-wheel drive. And when it hits four-wheel drive, it says, OK, I'm now in four-wheel drive. You can stop sending 12 volts down to the motor. And obviously then, if it gets lost somewhere in between, it just doesn't know. Do I send 12 volt? Do I not send 12 volt? Best thing, not to do anything. And um, that's all you have to do. So I think what we're going to do is put it back together again, put it onto the car, and if we have to, we'll just give it a shot of 12 volt and just uh, test the motor. I have tested the motor. It does spin freely. So, um, yeah, that's the next thing. Obviously, yeah, you would test the motor and make sure it does actually work. If, obviously, if the motor doesn't get doesn't work, there's no point continuing. So what I did when I was testing it was obviously pull up the cog, put 12 volts to it in either direction, make sure it spins both directions. If it's working, great. So then we know it's not the motor. Uh, I'm gonna put onto the car and see if I can trick it to kind of like sending down a shot, like maybe just leave it in four wheel drive. And just by turning this, it'll go from two wheel drive into four wheel drive and just keep trying to tell it, okay, where's four wheel drive or something like that. Um, not sure whether it'll work or not. We might have to twist it a lot of times, but we'll give it a try. Uh, we'll give it a shot. Okay, so I have it just plugged in up here. I'm just leaving it floating here, just not to be hanging down on the wires. And I'm going to go up on top now and twist the dials. Okay, so I have ignition on. It's in two or in four wheel drive, and I'm going to switch back now to two wheel drive. Brilliant. Come on. There we go, four wheel drive. I think I was a bit impatient. Can we go back to two wheel drive. And two wheel drive, we've got swing it back to four wheel drive. And you can hear it clicking underneath, so it's working. Woo! Okay, now we're in four wheel drive. Let's see if we can get four wheel drive low range. No. Okay, four wheel drive low range is not going to work. I don't know why it just literally just stopped working and 
really I don't use four-wheel drive low range, it's just four-wheel drive high range. So I'm just gonna put up with having four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive. Oh yeah, sorry that's four-wheel drive. Right, now two-wheel drive. Brilliant. Okay, now we're in four-wheel drive. I'm just gonna turn it back to two-wheel drive and we can hear the motor turning underneath. So there you have it guys, that's now the Kia Sorento all fixed. Four-wheel drive working brilliantly, so I'm delighted with that. So if you like this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.